Alright everybody, Okta here and welcome to some more minecraft -ido. <laughs> Here we are again. Look what we did in last episode. We've kind of finished the storage aura here and it's looking quite darn good. I'm very happy with it. I'm pleased. And here we have this kind of flooded area here with a little lake kind of wish. I don't know what to call it. A river maybe. We got some light in place. Some under the, under the leaves here. It's looking very good. Well, we have been doing a lot of building. Well, building is good for one thing. Fast progress it is. And it is very good because you see a lot of work done in a short amount of time. I still like to have some technical things. So that is my plan here. Whoops, as you can see here, I have dug quite a lot here. And, um, well, what is the plan then? Well, we are going to make an elevator from a design that Morsi has done. I'm not really sure which one yet. Well, I am. I will show you later on. Well, as you can see, we have a hole here. I first dug out here for the elevator. Then I made a hole on the wrong side. Here is the uh, furnace area going to be. We are going to have like a circle here. And then like a lot of furnaces on the wall here. Maybe some lava, you know, coming down from the roof. I think it will turn out quite darn good. But for now, you will have walk out of an elevator here and up there. You will have a recall button and a up button and a down button and a call button up there too. Well, it's gonna be very good at least. And um, well, I will probably try to show you guys how I am building it a little bit. But if you are interested in the tutorial for the elevator, you will have to go and check Morse's channel out yourself. There will be a link in the description though. He's making a lot of cool things, so you should definitely check him out because he's a cool guy. He's very good at what he does. Okay, so let's get started here. You see it's looking very good. But I will start working on the elevator a little bit and come back to you guys after that, okay? Okay, so this design is 3 by 4 in size, so I will have to dig one block over there as well. But what you actually do in the beginning, just make this simple like form or this pattern here, three things, pillars going up. And this is the place you will be going inside for the elevator later on. This is actually the elevator Oh, you skeleton! I'm just trying to show things, skeleton. You cannot shoot me down now. Well, and then we'll have some other things here, okay? Okay, so it's time to add a redstone wire now, and we are using slabs and redstone and repeaters for that. So, these will power on the pistons that will push up us upwards when we travel with the elevator, and we are using the slab trick for the redstone, so it's easier to transmit the redstone signals upwards. Before you could use uh, glowstone for this, you can still do that, but this is much cheaper and very efficient. Then we add some redstone torches here going up. Okay, so what I did now was add a comparator clock, you know, when you just right click on it and have some power to it, it and, and it goes into itself. So what you are supposed to do now is go up here and check when the redstone signal stops. And when it stops here, you want to go here and what you do here then, you see you have a torch. You probably want to use a slab for it to look very fancy and good. You know, sometimes it's good to have the redstone being fancy. You just place the comparator there again, set it on, and uh, well, there we go. The clock is running even more, and you just repeat that until you are at the top. And there we go. What we do then is place some glowstone here to kind of stop the game from making all this lighting calculation so we can keep the game kind of lag free, which is a very good thing. Okay, so what I have done now is add more or less just things for the control panel like the send button and recall button. So something else I also did was add an on and off switch is off right now because we are setting up the elevator itself. So as you can see here now, this is actually the thing we will stand in going up and down. So this is the floor level here. And uh, well, some miscalculations and we'll have to remove a little bit of floor here, but it doesn't really matter. It's not a lot of work. But then we just go in here, press the button outside here somewhere and go up and down. Very nice. 
Okay, so I think I run into some problems here, but I think I know how to fix it. So as you can see there, there's a difference between the elevator bottom, like the redstone and the floor. And this is the same with the top here. So it will go up a few blocks here and that is kind of a problem because it is in the middle of our small river or whatever we should say here. But I think we could maybe solve it. So this is the last block, the solid last block. It has to be obsidian or whatever, you know. And we could maybe make like an old tree or something here inside. And it would maybe be good enough to actually hide the redstone off it. I will see how it goes. <laughs> Look at that slime. Oh, he's so sweet. You're stuck. Well, too bad for you. You can stay there as long as you want. Until you despawn. <laughs> This is why you want to make sure your redstone is waterproof, <laughs> at least if you are working close to water. I think it was alright here, it didn't damage a lot of things. Yeah, it, it's yeah, it's a easy repair here. Well, it is certainly something I have to think a little bit more about. Ugh, I hate, I do hate water. <laughs> alright, it's done, look over there, it's quite done good. Well, it's alright at least. Um, we might change it up later on, but it's covering the elevator and the water is going on the side of it. I think it's decent. So what we want to do now is we want to go down here and take a look at the level below here. So as you can see, the elevator up is up and running. Maybe not too fancy around here, but we'll fix that in the next episode, I think. So what you do, you step in here, you press the button there to go down and you go down. <laughs> look at that very nice so now we are here we can just go here check it out it's looking good and here we have the room where we will have the furnace in so i thought we can maybe start working on that a little bit so as i said i wanted it to be kind of roundish so we will be working on that the only problem i have so far i think we want to consider making this the center or if we remove whoops um Whoops, whoops, whoops. I shouldn't be touching anything, I said. <laughs> but, like, we can remove everything else on this one. So, but I do think we kind of want it to be the same as the level above. So I think this will be the walkway in here. And this will be the center then. So we want to start placing a little bit of furnaces. So we want it to be the circle form. And um, I guess we could just go for something relatively simple. We could add like four of them there and then we do the same thing at the other side because right now I think we want it to be symmetrical because we are going to have some redstone behind here later on for refilling the fuel of them. Whoops, what happened? What's going on here? Is that an invisible block maybe? <laughs> Let's see here. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we just have four there. Well, let's go for that. So now we have some furnaces here. I think that's more than enough for a small furnace room. And uh, what else do we want to do here? We, I think we probably want to move these forward one block and then it will look good. All right, so there we go. What we want to do now is we probably, yeah, maybe go down a little bit here. So you kind of walk down, you kind of feel like you're going down a little bit. Let's see here, I have a shovel, I do. So we just use it and we can maybe have some half slabs here. Half slabs, I have thought about that. Why am I calling it half slabs? I know a lot of other people do it too. Not sure really why. Hmm, I cannot really think of any reason. You could just say slab, but hey. So yeah, we have something like this. Then my plan is to have some hoppers around here because when you have them on the side here, it will go into the fuel slot and above it will go into the um, the thing you want to melt or smelt or whatever, you know. So my plan is we'll have some hoppers here. We'll have a minecart track going on top of them. And then the refilling station would be here somewhere. So we would have some redstone here. And they would automatically refill. Because I kind of want to hook it up to my witch farm maybe a little bit. And then maybe a wither wood farm. I think that sounds good. So I'll get going here and come back. Okay, I think we're ready here now, so let's get the hoppers ready and start working here. So this is going to be the reef 
Oh, 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 oh. This is going to be the refilling place. So what we'll do is we'll have some hoppers here and then we'll have a little bit of rail on it so the minecart can travel on it and then just have it go over here and uh, then go over here again with some new hoppers. And here is where it will go out later on somewhere. I will fix it. And well, one thing I certainly want to do is I want to have somewhere where I can melt a lot of or fix or cook a lot of items quickly or relatively quickly at least large masses so this is what I'm going to do here we are going to have some hoppers underneath it that will pick it up later on and on top of it uh, if I can get up here we are going to have hoppers too and chests on top here let's see here if I can craft a few chests here and I will show you we have to use one of these you know uh, special chests that are um, special chest you know the trap chest so we can stack them next to each other but let's see here now i'm making some chests we have five of them so my plan is we'll have it like this simply like that and then one in the middle with the other sort and then you just you know placed items you want to be cooked and it will go into here and when it's done cooked it will go down here so then we'll have to travel or change where we want these to end up. So I thought we could maybe, maybe have it somewhere here probably. So they end up here in a large chest area. Maybe would be a good idea. These chests here would, or furnaces, these would just be normal furnaces. So you can get the XP from everything you cook. Just cook something quickly more or less. And yeah. So I'll be adding some more hoppers here and we'll go back later on and take a look at the rail and stuff like that, okay? All right, mind blown just right now. You know, when you craft fence, you just take it like that. It doesn't work anymore because at 1.8, you have to do it differently. I'm so confused right now, but you have to do it like that. You get free fence now though, but still, I'm super confused, wow. <laughs> okay, so I'm done with the setup for now, I would say. We have the rail on place and some hoppers, it's looking fine. But what is this, you may ask? Well, it's the Itemanator. No, it's probably not the right name. But this is the minecart that will pick up the items for the furnaces. Like the fuel, yeah, the fuel. And then if it has enough with it, it will send it on the rail. So right now it's kind of filled. But for now, then it goes around here. Each furnace will pick two of the items and then it will go back again, wait until it's ready. So we will have the item stream coming in here. So if we wait long enough, it will, you know, get ready for the next turn. But what we can do to speed it up, oh, there it came. So you see, it will pick up and here, six, seven and eight. So each furnace take two items. And uh, this one is already cooking as you can see because we had some items here and it goes into this hopper here and then we would have the system taking it along the way here. However, I think it's time to end this episode. I mean, we got a whole bunch of things done when you think about this. This elevator is really fancy and this minecart is really fancy too. I'm very happy actually. So I thought I would show you guys how you go up here again. So just press this button and up we go, up we go. We might add some glass here and things. But if you have any design suggestions, leave a comment below and I might consider them. Anyways, we are really happy now and I think it's good enough. Well, I'm Okta, and you will have a wonderful day, I hope. Anyways, bye-bye.